And poor Percy has gone back to sleepy land. It's 10.06 p.m. When I shot that last video, it was about 9.15, See, I just heard a car door, even with all of this noise going on. And the whole point was to get to the dog park before Ron Pajama Pants gets there, which could be anywhere between 10 to 12, and now it's 10 or 6. So as I'm brushing my hair out and actually dressing, as opposed to just running out in my pajamas, which I was fine to do, but since I've been thrown off track and I have to plan for being stranded out in the car or have to talk to police or God knows what could happen throughout the day while I might run into this guy, I feel compelled to make myself presentable as opposed to just running out like a slob to take my fucking dog to the dog park for an hour and come fucking home. And I meant to just prove that I heard his car. Apparently I just heard the other negress. like heroin. And now the State Department of Health has an agreement with the CVS pharmacy chain to let their pharmacists sell naloxone without a prescription. Karen Schwartz of New City is applauding the agreement. There's an epidemic going on, and I think that this is such a giant step in the right direction. For Karen, that epidemic hits close to home. Her 24-year-old son, Reed, died from a heroin overdose seven months ago. Oh, now see, and that makes her an expert. And so what she decides, everybody must decide. God forbid we could have the marijuana industry and people actually make money and aren't in the situation to even, like, meet people that have heroin. Fuck you. the drug has become easier to administer, with police, fire, and EMS saving thousands who would otherwise be lost by simply using a nasal spray. Under the program, the drug will now be available over the counter here at CVS. But Carlucci wants it to be available at all pharmacies. Karen Schwartz's son, Reed, was revived three times with naloxone, giving her more time with him, for which she is grateful. It made a difference. 